Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today, I'll be continuing my playthrough of Midmax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So, let's get to it. Last time around, we cleared up some lingering pirates, uh, expanded our territory, did some recruitment, and right at the end, got stuck in one of those never-ending battles against enemies with near-impenetrable shields. Uh, we ended up having to run away from that, and I did notice that the amount of res, goons, and scrap that I had before the battle diminished greatly when we ran away through the warp gate so I hadn't actually realized this before but there is an actual cost to retreating from battle but having done that I think yeah I think it's about time to leave void militia space uh, in fact leave faction space altogether because we do have those bounties on our heads heads <laughs> bounties on our head and if we're going to be facing more ships of that strength, we're not going to... Not having a good day with my words, but we're not going to have much luck defeating them. So, let's head southeast, well, southeast in inverted commas, and get out of faction space. Now, it would be nice to grab some scrap, but there is nothing in those piles. However, Tony try I. If I can just move towards you, actually, we'll move this way, and, oh, come on, just boost after him, there we go, let's get him to join my faction, nice and easy, what do we got around here, because what I would like to do is just maybe go up another level or two, wait, what, that's a bandit, level 30, threat 49, he's going to attack that, um, transport i guess wow i wonder if i can beat him oh i've gotta at least have a go at trying to beat this guy let's just hope that nobody else attacks and destroys him okay here we go fight high threat level 30 okay no we've got to do this oh wait is that a threat 47 that joined in? Oh, I am so fucking screwed. Okay, let's go this way. And get past the highly explosive barrels. Boost, 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 boost. I want to get some separation between me and the actual motherships until we can figure out what sort of strength Strikecraft he has got. Now... Looking at the ship, the mothership, before we came in the battle, uh, it's still mostly made out of junk parts. So what I'm hoping is, despite all the perks he would have from being such a high level, that he won't have the shielding to manage to hold off my assault. Otherwise, this is going to suck. I'm going to waste a hell of a lot of time for nothing. Oh, no, look, 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 shields. That was just... Oh, power to shields. Let's blunt some of this stuff. Oh, and again. Got some torpedoes coming in. The flak battery should take care of them. Excellent. Spin back around. Shields. Getting... Oh, that was a shotgun. And... Just keep blunting those shotgun shells as they come in. And all these missiles and other garbage. They're gravity missiles. Not too worried about them. Got two regular missiles coming in, but the flat cordon is holding. However, I am going to lose my capacitors in a sec, so let's just boost away. Do a reload. And come on, capacitor. Back online. Now, excellent. Let's turn back in here. And, oh god, the flak batteries did excellent there against all those regular missiles, but, okay, they're not going to do so well now, here we go. Fortunately, 
The enemy seems to be running out of strike craft. Okay. Between the cap and the flak batteries, hardly any missiles or torpedoes are getting in. Okay, that guy's got a particle hose, which is like deep space submachine gun. And... Oh, yeah. Actually, we'll just boost away a bit. Even though all that um, missile ordnance isn't actually doing all that much damage. Um, let's just, you know, do it properly. We don't want to develop any bad habits that we may take into a battle with faction ships or even worse, zombie ships. And those bad habits get us killed. Now, what do we got? Apart from a hell of a lot of blueprints for tugs, flora, short bus. I think that's what that one is, the flora. Now, how far away is he? Okay, let's just try and maintain separation outside of pulsar range for two reasons. One, we want all our weapons concentrating on uh, strike craft. So we might have to manually target them. Or manually designate them, not manually target them. You know what I mean. There we go. And once we've cleared these guys up a bit. And there goes my capacitor again. It's alright. God, what is this guy doing all the way over there? I have no idea. Oh, look at all that flak. That is awesome. Okay, come on. You've managed to kill every strike craft except for the one I want to kill. Let's go back in here. He's within pulse range. Let's get him within sniper cannon range. And he's dead. Okay. Well, there isn't a lot of strike craft left. Let's see if we can just easily deal with this guy. And, oh yeah, his shield's coming down nicely. What we might do is we might... Turn around. Oh, let's let's maintain a bit of step. Ooh, leech beams. I think that's what they're called. Leech beams, the ones that slow you down. Or maybe leech beams are the ones that steal your shields. I can't remember. Oh, there goes my capacitors, which means my cat will be landing for just a short while. Now uh, let's deal with this little guy here. Come on, kill him. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he didn't have much chance of resisting all of those pulses all at once. Let's just spin that around. Oh yeah, bring it all to bear. Excellent. Yeah. Come on, let's get within uh, sniper cannon range so we can bring them to bear as well. And... There we go. Of course, we also want to keep turning on these angles that we like to turn on. So I'm not going to worry too much about being inside leech beam range, because it is far more important to keep all my guns firing on him at once. There we go. Let's spin it back around. And... All my guns going after him. Spin it back around this way. There we go. Four pulses. Two sniper cannons. Everything firing at once. Gotta love that. Gotta love it indeed. Ugh. One little strike craft over there being annoying. As per usual. Splitting my fire. God, where is this guy going? Or not going at all, I think. Oh, okay, so I think that was micro emitters. Is that the red ones? I can never remember. I always call them lasers, but yeah, I think the red ones are micro emitters, the blue ones are micro blasters. Okay, come on, capacitor. Come on, there we go. And his capacitor is nearly out, which is great timing. It is out. Great timing since mine is pretty much fully charged. And there we go. Come on. Yeah, there goes his shields. Let's get within range with everything. And here goes his ship. Just start blowing pieces off it, guys. Don't worry about my shields for a sec. Cause... Excellent. 
There we go, and he is gone. Let's just hope that he was the stronger of the two, because that took a bit of doing. Now, by the time I get all the way over to this guy, my shield should have recharged. And while I am doing that, I can get a drink of water. Let's start boosting over. Oh, almost forgot to uh, recharge my capacitor. That would be rather stupid. Now, I was about to say I want to leave a quarter boost in the tank, but I think the boost juice, if I let it recharge now, yeah, I've got so many recharge bonuses on it. Well, actually, there's only two recharge bonuses that you can get in the perk tree. But here we come, here we come, here we are coming up on um, ranges for weaponry. It looks like he's got no regular missiles. What the hell has he got? We're coming up on Pulsar Range, and... Okay. Lots of garbage coming at me. I'm guessing they must have been micro-missiles, because SRMs and Ion SRMs have a range of 450. So they must be micro-missiles. Yeah, yeah, because the Ion SRMs and um, regular SRMs, they've got the little balls around them. Yes, they have balls. Okay, this must have been the guy I was first firing at in the battle, and I mentioned about his shields going down. Because he is screwed. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bring him down. Bring him down, and yep. Come to think of it, I've actually got SRM still on the rear of my ship. So, if we get a chance to fire them, like, you know, right now-ish, then, yeah, there they are. They're a bit bigger than the micro-missiles, I assume. Actually, I can barely tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. So what is the go there? Don't know. Maybe it's the trails behind them, or maybe they just are a smidgen bigger. I could have swore, though, from um, having them fired at me before, when they're coming in close, they've got this little, how would I describe it, incandescent, little incandescent ball around them. Um, but doesn't matter, that's neither here nor there, because this second bandit chief is also Stone Dead Jimmy. And you're going to give me any parts? Actually, there is not a single red glow I don't think on any of those parts so let's just go straight back to the star map and uh, we have managed to pick up four parts which is great I always like to get some treasure oh and here we go we've went up oh that's what I wanted weapon damage plus 35 percent level 25 <gasps> oh we went up two levels I can finally uh, increase my, well not finally, but I could increase my Strikecraft Hangout to 4. Or I could get Shield Strength 35% increase. Hmm, I wonder which one of those I'm going to choose. So, up two levels and we have an extra core. How awesome is that? My god, nearly went up to level 27 as well. And I assume that's from a previous battle. Oh no, owner, Vastima. Two parts, a oh, shitload of res. The only problem is we have to stay inside. Okay, wait a sec. Was one of the sh those ships I just killed? I really hope one of them wasn't a void militia ship. Oops, if it was. Um, I think you can find out. Is it Captain Info? Things I saw. Join my faction. Attacked me. No, it doesn't mention pirates, I don't think. Uh, witness kill, kill bandit. Nope, 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 no. I'm fairly sure it goes from most recent onwards. So, I think that I'm safe that I did not kill a Void Militia guy. I think it is simply red because it is in Void Militia space. So, I just did quick save it, didn't I? I'm fairly sure I did, because I don't want to risk picking up this pile if I'm going to get attacked by extremely strong guys, but at the same time, I really want to try and pick up this pile, so let's just move to it. 
Oh, actually, do we have any parts that we could stick on the ship sense? Because we've actually got a core, so we might as well stick that on the ship. But what do we got? We got toaster, but we've already got, yep, defender pod. And we do have a, some right wings, a laser, or an omni laser. Yeah, you know, you know what? Stuff it. I'm just not even going to bother. So let's go back to the star map and let's pick up some of this stuff or at least try to pick it up and there we go with wait is that all we picked up out of all that treasure that sucks and now blocked by battle who is fighting what our oh, bandits are attacking a transport uh, i suppose i better help out okay that should uh Make a few Void Militia guys happy. Okay, this should be an easy battle. Very easy battle. Let's concentrate on just taking out this mothership. And, you know, famous last words. Yes, I did run into the asteroid. Of course I did. You knew I was going to do it. Can never help myself. Okay. Let's throw everything at him. Oh, looks like we're going to be inundated with strike craft no matter what we want. But shields are nearly down. And shields are down. And bits have fallen off him. I still have... No, I'm going to lose my capacitor. It looks like... No, nope, I managed to pull it off just in time. There we go. And it looks like our allies are going to deal with the remaining strike craft. With these... Actually, let's just turn off our guns before you do something stupid and start an incident with the people we are trying to help. Hmm, you know what I should have done? I should have stuck that core on. Any chance of a core floating around? Because if there was, now I could stick some of these wings on. Then again, they're probably all garbage wings anyway. So, why panic about it? Wow, I didn't get much from that battle did I you generous motherfuckers oh that's right up another level uh, strike craft armor give me armor now scavenge all mine give it give it to me god this is gonna take forever okay first up we are going to put this core on which is gonna be annoying since we're gonna have to do it this way there we go, and any of these cores got stars apart from this new one? Okay, that one's got two. Um, yeah, we'll put the two inward, put the brick post here, and put that photonatron there, put that watchtower there, and put the nose back on. Now, we've got to put our flat cannons at the front. But we have acquired different wings. Oh, that's a, a, a medium part. But we could stick one of these, a laser, omni laser, or missile. We might as well stick this missile in here. And, oh, wait a sec. We've got um, another part here, an SRM, which is exactly what we've got. Yep, one star, no stars. Back to the star map we go. And, God, can't believe they're only letting me pick up dribs and drabs of this scrap. Uh, I wonder how much this, holy shit, 14,000 scrap, will you look at that? Oh my God. And I got that weapon damage bonus, so I should be able to take on the bandit hive without um, getting medium parts. <gasps> Sorry, without getting an extra large part on the left and right. Scavenge. Gimme, gimme. Collect. Brick post. That sucks. And I'm guessing this transport's going to nick most of my stuff. Another brick post. And what am I going to get? Okay. And come on, just give me a little bit more. And somebody else stole the rest of it, but we do, uh, sorry, we have managed to get 2,194 scrap, put our res up quite a bit, and uh, we've got lots of goons, but unfortunately I don't think we got another 
small left part. No, we did not. We just got subcores. So let's go back to the star map. And you know what I'm going to do. I've got to do it. We've got plenty of time. Ooh, 15,000. It's stopped on 15,000. He's, wait, is that like a maximum or is that just coincidence? Any of these anywhere? Oh my god, yes! One, it's not a coincidence. It looks like 15,000 is the maximum, but there are two. Two bandit hives with 15,000 already. What is this? The, oh my god, look at them all! How much has this one got? <laughs> That's 60,000 scrap there alone. Okay. Seriously, we are going to go and attack this place. Give me all the scrap. While that's loading, I need yet another bit of water. Mouth is very dry today. Okay, we'll deal with the mothership as per usual. That's... Whoop, there we go. Okay, and looks like the strike craft are going to get to us first anyway, but let's just move around here. And can you destroy these, come to think of it? I uh, can't remember. Are these destroyable? Yes, they are. Excellent. Now, give him hell. Ooh, damn. Ooh, that's a large strike craft, one of them. I can't remember what they're called. Are they the gold diggers? The, either way, that was a warhead. I think that's the gravity warhead? Is that what it's called? Mass warhead, I think. Yeah, they're basically like the bombs from the first Spaz game. If you um, played the first Spaz game. Um, and if you haven't, basically the bombs in the first Spaz game were these big barrel-like weapons that, yeah, pretty much had awesome effects like that. The easiest way to defeat them in the first game was just to follow really closely to the ship launching them because they couldn't launch them right next to you. Right next to them, I mean. Sorry, I got distracted by the fact one of these strike crafts got uh, pulses as well. Oh, or is it the um, mother ship? Nope, definitely the strike craft. Come on, there we go. Shields down. And we are getting outside of Pulsar range, which we do not want to do, considering his shields are finally down. Bits of him are falling off, which is great. Yeah, obviously uh, the mass warheads work best in conjunction with, say, another warhead. Because, like, for instance, was that nylon warhead there? No, it was just a big... Ooh, there we go. Mass warhead right on top of me. Okay, so... Enemy mothership has been blown to pieces, and I am out of capacity, or well, was, for a millisecond. Let's just put a bit of distance between these and me, so I'm not trying to fight every strike craft from every angle at once. And... Boom, boom, yes, he's dead. Okay. Doing well. Doing very well, considering we're fighting against numerous uh, large strike craft. Oh, I'm out of boost. I'm wondering, why am I moving so slow? You are out of boost. And it doesn't help that you are slowly making your ship longer and longer. And yes, I am talking to myself in the third person. Sorry. Well, actually, I am technically mad, so... Ah, oh, there we go. Look at all those pulses going off. I love that. Okay, let's reload the capacitor. Spin around. While it's doing that, pick up some of these blueprints. Blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. And we will head towards the pirate hive. Or technically the bandit hive, but... Same diff. Oh wow. Oh wow, I think we just stopped every one of those SRMs. Or they might have been micro missiles, I'm not sure. I think they were SRMs. Okay. Great. 
And now I'm gassy. Fantastic. Uh, when it rains, it pours. Okay, let's take out our little friend here. Everything on the little friend. What are they called? Tangs? Is that what they're called? The little circular ones? Can't remember. We'll call them tricycles. But yeah, I think they're called tanks. Oh, took a lot of those missiles. The flak batteries just didn't do their job that time. Boom! I will take the freighter. That's right, no, yeah. That's, yeah, no, that is so Australian. Um, yeah, it's uh, the freighter um, blueprint, which is the weakest of the large craft. Yeah, I think the gold digger is like the carrier large craft, for lack of a better term. Now, what have we got? And more importantly, what has he got? So if I can't get through his defences, I am just going to raid the hell out of his goodies. Okay, so torpedoes. What else we got? Okay, fighters. Well, zap is to be uh, more accurate. Okay, let's get within sniper range. And, okay, shields are coming down, but then again, last time around I fought one of these level 3 bases, the shields came down all the way to the bottom, and then it just stopped. It just did not want to come down the rest of the way. So let's just rock our ship back and forth. Uh, okay, and get all our weapons firing at once. And can we get it down? And is that a yay or a nay? And come on, come on, come on. We've still got some capacity left. Nope, we're going to have exactly the same problem as last time, it looks like. Come on, capacitor is nearly out. Oh, you bastard. No, my luck, it'll take it out just now. And I wonder if he's got any beam weapons. No idea. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it gonna is it gonna come down? Is it gonna come down? And And no. Yes, no. I'm starting to think he's got no beam weapons unless they're really close in ones like what are they called? Chainsaw beams or something? Well, I'm going to find out rather soon, because I am getting rather close to him. Torpedo, flat cannons. Oh, there we go. Shields are down. Well, there we go. Um, chances are, last time around, when I took one of these out, it wasn't the actual ram that did it. It was probably my defender fighters getting within combat range. But, doesn't matter, because we have now destroyed a level 3 pirate hive that has 15,000 scrap and there were four of these things nearby four four oh my god awesome pick up these goons I'm going to have so many goons spin around, pick up the res look at all this scrap Oh my god, res, 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 res for days. God, there were so many little scrap crates that they didn't even all explode at the end of the battle. Awesome. Let's spin around. We'll grab them two last, I reckon. And... There we go. Did I hit that? Yes, I did. Let's just come around this asteroid. Hey, did I just go past an asteroid without hitting it? Wow. I'm improving as a pilot. Let us... And then again, it is a lot easier when you haven't got guys shooting at you and small craft chasing you and what have you. And so much for that. I hit the asteroid. Okay. That's what happens. And another asteroid. I hit that one so hard I actually broke it. Which is better than breaking my ship, but nevertheless. 
last bit of scrap. And victory is mine, as is the loot. Very nice. Okay, so... Wow. 17,000 scrap. And we're well on our way to level 28 as well. Let's just check. Did I... I believe... Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, I did it again. I did the whole yeah, nut nah thing. That's very Australian for those that have never been to Australia. Yeah, nut, nah, mate. Oh, God, we are hopeless at English. Um, okay, let's uh, do a quick save, even though I'm fairly sure it did one at the end of the battle for us on our behalf. And then we will check the part catalogue because we've got a decision to make. We could upgrade to large sniper cannons like on uh, sorry large double sniper cannons on either side or we could risk getting double pulses um, like another set of uh, double pulses on either side and just hope that no nah, actually that would be stupid some of these battles especially versus the pirates there are way too many strike craft and it would be somewhat foolish to not have sniper cannons. So let's go for um, large sniper cannons on either side. Search. Okay, so um, one at Star Salts. Salts. Star Salts. Um, bit of alliteration there is screwing, my, screwing up my pronunciation of salt. And I'll just shut up now. And so we will have that delivered to us. Okay, so that's interesting. I actually like that. It's a Sun Hunter part, and I do like me some Sun Hunter parts. So we'll have that delivered for 5,409. And then we want a right one as well. And no, we, we don't want one of them. They won't match. That would suck. 7626. How much for a... 11,555. Which is pretty much all of our goodies. And by goodies, I mean scrap. Uh, well, who cares? I'm going to get 45,000 scrap if I take out these... Uh, next three pirate bases so gimme okay so both of my sun hunter sorry my large sun hunter sniper cannon uh wings are on their way and let's just tap the space for a sec just to see where they're coming from there and there uh, oh god there and there okay so what i might do is i might head towards the next pirate base which is this one over here i believe and actually i am pretty much out of time so what i'll do is i will head over here um i will you know do the the usual check on how the zombies are doing and when we come back for the next episode, I will wait for the courier to arrive before I do the usual thing at the start of a video where I say, last time around, blah, blah, blah. And then we will go on a spree wiping out the remain remaining, my God, the remaining 15,000 field bandit hives. So there was one there. No, that was the one we beat. One there and one there. Excellent. And I can check the other ones later as well. Now, let's have a look at the pirates. So, that hasn't changed, but um, one of those territories, was it this one? Was the one that the pirates lost uh, last episode. And that was the one they gained last episode. So... Uh, they gained one, lost one. However, this one, they didn't have. So they've gained back the one they lost, and they've gained another one. So they've gained two star bases. Uh, I don't believe they've lost any against the Sun Hunters. And yet they, at the border against the civilians hasn't changed either. So 
looks like yeah, the civilians have still got the incentive on that base, but considering there's only, unless that's changed, there's only two members in the civilian faction, then, yep, still only two left. So there's not too many people to do the work, especially with all the pirates running around stealing everything. But that is neither here nor there because I have to call it for today. Sadly, that's all I've got time for. Give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one. Thank you.